Hi everyone! So today's video is actually the one I've been really, really, really wanting to film the most out of all my Christmas videos. I've seen these done by so many different YouTubers and they're so unique. I've seen gift guides for girls, boys, families, parents, relationships, pets even. But the one I'm going to do is something that I haven't seen as much. If you didn't already guess by the title, I'm actually going to do the perfect gift guide for YouTubers. So I'm going to have everything from my cameras, to editing software, to tripod, accessories, to background items. Technically all the things that should be on any YouTuber's wish list for Christmas. Yes, I understand that things for YouTube do not come at an easy price. Things are quite expensive. Before I begin today's video, I must also say that the video is a collab. I'm collabing with my good old friend Florence, or Florence Rebecca on YouTube. I love her videos and I love her channel, but she's so unique and she's so down to earth. I definitely go recommend you check out her channel. The collab video she actually made to go with this one was actually up on the 30th of November. That's how long I've had a break for. So make sure you go check out her channel. I will leave everything that you need to know down in the description box. It'll be the first two links, so make sure you go check them out. And without further ado, let's get into my Christmas gift guide. I have done all the researching, I've got all the links, all the prices, all the different names and all the best brands you can buy at this Christmas time. So you do not need to do any researching yourself. I've made everything super easy. All you've got to do is sit back, watch the video, relax and maybe click a few links and put things into your wish list if they are more important and you would like to buy them. All the prices I've got apart from the editing software are from Amazon. Obviously it's not sponsored, I mean if I was sponsored by Amazon it would be a dream, won't lie. But everything is from Amazon just because it's the easiest option for me. So starting right at the top of my list, I have got the basic camera. The top brands that I could think of were Canon and Nikon. I'll be honest, there probably are quite a few other brands like Kodak and a few others, but these two are the ones that stand out for me because of the quality and because of the different features they both require and have already. At this very moment in time, I am filming on a Canon EOS 700D. I actually bought this like a year ago, so it's not old, but it's not brand new at the moment. This camera is at the moment £438, which isn't too bad considering when I bought mine these were like 500 to 600 pounds but if you're thinking I really can't afford that but I really want a good Canon camera the best alternative would be the 600D they are just 330 pounds at the moment even though they don't have exactly all the same features my camera has they still have all the basic ones that you need to film a video and you can also buy add-ons to go with them. It is more about the lenses rather than the actual camera body itself anyway. If you're like me and this Christmas you would like to upgrade your camera, the best alternative would be to go up a stage, so the 70D. At this very moment in time on Amazon, these are actually £699. So at the moment there is a good £200 difference in the two cameras. And then if you're already at the 70D stage but would like to go up a stage again, the best alternative for you would be the 7D, which is the most professional one that you can actually get at this point. They are £860 cheaper so I could find. They do go up to £1000 which is so insane for a camera. And then the other alternative would be to go with Nikon. They are a different brand altogether. I personally do think Canon is a better alternative in terms of actual brand but if you want a Nikon camera there's nothing wrong with that. I found that the D5300 is just £449 at the moment so it's basically the same camera as I've got now but in a different brand. And then if you're looking for something that's not a DSLR camera but you'd rather go into vlogging or you just want a vlogging camera, the Canon G7X would probably be your best bet. Although these are more expensive than an actual DSLR at the moment, they are still really good in terms of quality, plus they're really compact and also come with a viewfinder. These are just £598 at the moment. Which, as I said, is quite expensive for such a small camera, but when you think of it, it's got such good quality and good features to it, it does really count in the end. Moving off cameras and moving on to camera lenses. Again, I found three different brands that are probably the best ones for a YouTuber to use. I found that Sigma, Canon and Nikon again. So by far at the moment, the most popular lens to use by a YouTuber would be, would be the Sigma 30mm lens. This is at the moment £299. So basically, nearly the same price as an actual camera. Even though it's expensive, at the same time, it is the lens that makes the quality of a video so much better. It's also got a really good blurring range, so like you're in focus but the background won't be, so it looks really cool and technical. The second lens I found is one by Canon itself. It is the 18 to 135mm lens. At the moment, this is £274.00. And 99 pence, don't know why the 99 pence is relevant, but it is, apparently, according to Amazon. It's just a little bit cheaper than the Sigma one, so it's obviously still quite an expensive choice. But as you said, the more expensive a lens is, 
the better it tends to be. And then the Nikon lens that I found that most YouTubers with a Nikon camera will use is the Nikon 55 to 220 millimeter range one. At the moment on Amazon, this is 127 pounds, and again the 99 pence. Amazon needs to like just round it up, make my life easier. So them three lenses are quite expensive, so I, so I did find two alternatives that are cheaper. I did find an alternative for Canon. I found a Canon EF 50 millimeter lens. This is just 95 pounds at the moment on Amazon, and then I also found a Sigma AF 70 to 300 millimeter lens. This is £90 at the moment, so for Sigma that's extremely cheap, as well as Canon. So obviously if you have a camera but think, oh I don't really need a new camera but I want a new lens, those are the top 5 lenses that I did find. Some of the lenses I mentioned are people who are ready to expand and spend a bit more money, whereas some of them are for starters who are just waiting to get a new lens for a cheaper price. The third aspect I've come up with is a tripod. Now even though you can kind of build a tripod out of books and a chair, I know the struggle of it and I know sometimes it doesn't already go to plan because things fall off, then you break your camera, then you need a new lens, just not worth it. I found three different tripods, two are a cheap alternative and one is a bit more of an expensive one. There's a 60 inch Amazon Basics one, $16.49. Again, this isn't the best one I could actually find. But it's one that if you're waiting for a cheaper alternative, just something to bind you over until you can actually afford a more expensive one, this is the better alternative. And then if you're thinking, I don't really need a 60 inch, it's too big, there's a 50 inch option from the Amazon Basics range for just $13.99, so it's cheaper again. But if you have a bit more of a professional camera and would like a bit more of like a professional tripod, Newer offers a 62 inch one. However, this is $43.99, meaning it's a lot more expensive than the rest, and it is nearly a price of one of the cheapest lenses I could find. But if you want a tripod that's going to last longer and have more features for you to make really good quality videos, I do actually like suggest going for the more expensive ones. The fourth aspect is editing software. We all know we need it and we all know at some point we need to upgrade. The first thing I would suggest if you're going to get any of these would be a MacBook Pro. I don't actually have one myself, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to try and save up for one. Don't know how long it's going to last but I'm actually going to try. At the moment these are £1,097 which means they are so, so, so expensive. But when you think about it, the actual editing software you can get on it is a lot better than the Windows. Final Cut Pro is £300. I think that's per year. I'm not entirely sure with that one. I have to look it up myself. I don't use it, obviously. I use a Windows laptop. That's how I know Apples are going to be way better. Cheaper alternatives is the thing I use, which is Filmora. This ranges from £28 to £60, depending on what like feature or program you want to buy, because there's different ones. So basically, with the editing software, the more expensive it is, the better it's going to be still. Even though I can't afford the best one at the moment, I won't lie, I still think for more is a good alternative. Fifth aspect is a camera microphone. Now you may see people like Joe Sugg or Zoella or Alfie, they always have something on top of their camera, it's like a big black stripe, like, it's like a big tube. That is actually a microphone on top of their cameras. It means that the audio on their videos are way better and they don't need to like be so loud when they're speaking. I found one by Rode on Amazon for £50 and yes it is quite expensive for a microphone that goes on top of a camera but you're not going to want to buy one that's like £10 that's going to actually break your camera as well as the microphone. If you're looking for a cheaper alternative though, I found one by Taxstar and it's just £21.99. Again it's not as cheap, I have found one a little bit cheaper again but it's also an alternative you don't want to pay £50 for one. I found one by Adwa for £18. This is the cheapest one i found and it's the cheapest one I'm actually going to go down to. I've seen stuff for under a tenner. I really don't want to like express something and promote something to you that might even break your camera because I wouldn't want someone doing that to me. So they're the three microphones I've managed to find. Again, all the links will be down below. The sixth aspect is lighting. Now I'm using my lights right now. I know I'm a bit bright, I won't lie. Literally, it is eight o'clock in the night and I'm filming Logical Live over here. That's why I needed my background because my mum's at work, my dad's upstairs so no one can hear me. But I've got my big lights on and they do brighten me up, I won't lie. There are three different types of lighting that I could find on Amazon. The first one is basically the one that most beauty YouTubers use and that is a diva ring. <clears throat> the only diva rings I could find were priced over £60. They are just a little ring that go like that, but when, but what I find cool about them is when you're actually filming and you're up close, you can see like a little circle, like the ring in your eye, it looks really cool. The next lighting I could find was the one that I'm using right now, and they're called soft boxes. They usually come in twos, but you can actually just buy one if you really wanted to. 
These price from £13 upwards. Mine were nearly £80. I went with more of an expensive option just because I didn't want them to break on me. But if you don't want to pay so much, you can just pay £13 for some. And then the last alternative are the panels. I think Velvet Ghost used to use these. I know she still does, but she used to. And they're just little panels. You can either buy one or two again. And they price from £28 onwards that I could find. You might find one cheaper, but that's the only cheapest one I could find. The seventh aspect I've got for my video is like background items and if you mean, if you don't know what I mean, it's mean like light and stuff. This is really important to a YouTuber as well because even though you need good quality, if your background's looking a bit boring and lame and crap and it's like full of mess, people aren't going to think you're really organised and stuff, whereas if you have a nice background, which I think mine's pretty cool today, then you're obviously going to get a few more people coming in and think, oh yeah, they actually spend time. Two things I see that are really hyped up at the moment are cinema boxes which range from £18 onwards and fairy lights which you can basically pay like a pound for in the pound shop or you can pay £20 for them online if you really wanted to and there obviously are quite a lot more you can get like hashtag lights, you can get your name written up and stuff you can do like subscribers of the week, you know there's a lot of different things you can do I will leave a few further items if I can find any down below so there will be more and the last aspect I can find were camera accessories. So I found a camera bag online for £14.99. Now this one's way better than the one I have. The one I have came with the camera. This one has a little pit so you can put like different lenses and your memory cards and so on in. You can also buy filters for your camera which are £12.99 but you can obviously get more if you want to spend more. These basically have like ultraviolet ones, they have sun ones. Just ones that will protect your camera. And the last thing I could find was a cleaning kit. I mean, everyone needs a cleaning kit for their camera. You can either send your camera away or you can buy one yourself. The cleaning kit I found was £6.59 at cheapest. But again, I wouldn't really go with the cheapest option with that one because you don't really want to be spending little money on something that's going to clean your camera that costs like £500. So that is all I have for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed and I hope it was super useful for you. It's really warm in here with these lights. Make sure you subscribe if you're new because I love having new members of my family. Plus, we've just got like 2200 subscribers we're nearly at 2.3k and i will be having so many giveaways in the new year so you should also subscribe for that reason because everyone likes giveaways make sure you check all the links in the description box below because i've left everything that i could find down there for you as i said i've done all the research and there's no need for you to do that i've got all the prices everything is done and down below and also make sure you go check out florence's channel because i can recommend her videos all day long they're amazing i'd give her 100 percent if i was like a ratings person definitely go recommend you go check them out i will leave two links down below be the top two links of her channel and her video and i will see you next time make sure you give the video a big thumbs up and comment below the thing that's at the top of your youtube and i will see you next time bye everyone don't let me down don't let me down